I originally signed up for the AMA seminar to improve my organizational skills and planning skills. However, evidently, it's become so much more than that. Everyone has goals for their lives, both in their career and in their home life and their personal life. Um, unfortunately, not many of us have the skills or, or really the, the organizational skills to really sit down and map them out. The, the seven habits of highly effective people, I think, emphasizes the notion of emphatic uh, listening. I really need to um, understand better, I need to listen, instead of trying to fix people's problems, which I just have a tendency to do. This AMA is very, very clear on learning styles. They know how people learn. What I hope everybody gets out of Seven Habits is that they have choice, they have power, they have independent will that they can exercise, and that they can be in more control of what's going on around them that they may even give themselves credit for. The most important thing I've, I've taken away from this class is begin with the end in mind. Major takeaways from the seven habits of highly effective people would be learning to be more proactive instead of reactive and some keys to doing that. In order to be effective at what I do, being proactive is, is the key. To being able to truly listen. You learn to give, you learn to take, you learn to listen. I would say the one specific technique I learned to get better results when I'm communicating is to think win-win. To be able to think win-win and some techniques around that as well. It's not something that's just good for business, it's also good for home and personal life as well. We can do this. It's, it's sometimes transformational for a lot of people who come through here. I can't wait to start practicing the seven habits. <laughs>